guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today I thought I would switch things up do something new something that I've never done before and go wholesaler shopping I say that I've never done it before but I have brought you to Costco before just like within a vlog so anyway um I thought I would kind of do a focus around wholesaler shopping but also just do a vlog pick up the camera see where the next day or two takes us and bring you guys with me i've got the windows open currently it's actually tipping it down that's probably quite distracting isn't it let me close the windows one sec hopefully that's a bit quieter excuse the mess in the background i'm just currently in between doing a sheet changeover i've just put a load of bedding in the wash i need to redress the bed now with new bedding although i'm tempted to just wait for the bedding that is currently in the wash to just now that i've got tumble dryer just dry and then put on fresh sheets and also a little tip as well i was always told to when you undress your sheets you should actually just let your mattress and everything breathe and just have it off for a while rather than put new bedding straight back on so that's what i'm trying i'm trying out a new method of just letting it breathe i did also spritz a bit of this on it which is from denim it's part of their like cleaning product range i love their cleaning products because how nice to how nice does the bottle look? All my cleaning products that are like matching Dunelm in this packaging. It just makes me so happy. This is the mattress de deodorizer in herbal lavender fragrance. So yeah, it smells lovely. I've also got a couple of um, charity bags to drop off at some point over the next couple of days whenever I get around to doing it. I've just had a bit of a clear out of stuff. So there's a wholesalers that quite a few of you have been recommending to me called Inspirations. It's near Cheshire Oaks, which I go to quite a bit. And I'm even thinking about maybe doing a bit of a trip over with Barney because I've read online that obviously Cheshire Oaks is dog friendly. So if we're in the area anyway, might as well pop in there. Um, but I've also seen online that they are dog friendly. I might not bring him. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. But that's one wholesaler that I want to check out. And then the second is a fave of mine, Costco. I have been to Costco a bit in vlogs before, but it's essentially a big wholesaler. So there's loads of them if you've never been before. We grew up going to them, I think, because we were military. Military quite often you get a card i think if you're like a business owner but you can just get like an individual membership now so it's really easy to be able to go and i think our membership is like you pay 20 quid a year or something to be able to go it's worth going even just for the browse and for the look and the free samples of food that they do on the route on your route round so yeah go hungry because you can fill up on little samples and then they have the best pizza at the lunch place and ice cream and hot dogs and jack of potatoes so yeah go hungry and you'll thank me later. We have actually already been to Costco. Um, we got up first thing this morning and went. So we were there for opening. We wanted to get a TV and sound bar, of which we've done. So I'm going to include the footage of us going to Costco first and then see you guys back home to share with you what I've picked up and then head off to the Inspirations wholesalers. so that was our little trip to costco now that we are back i thought i would share with you the costco bits that i did pick up i've got loads of stuff that i brought up here behind me to be fair it was an effort to bring these toilet rolls up look how many you get 40 rolls 240 sheets per roll this lasts us forever so when i do go to costco i do tend to just have a quick pit stop at the toilet roll section and stock up because otherwise i feel like i'm always buying toilet roll 
Um, but anyway, I also got some more paper plates just for us to use in the interim of kind of moving or like living without kitchen waste. And then I also got, I actually got this and then threw it in the trolley and Tom said, oh, I've just put this in. Vegans and vegetarians look away now. Oh my God, it's so good. So it's just like, it's South African, isn't it, built on? What is it? Marinated beef, silver side, air dried and sliced, gluten free. And it's just little bits of meat. So tasty. I could just eat that bag, it's quite dangerous. And then this is um, Costco's own brand, Kirkland, steak strips. So it's just very similar, but extra thick cuts. And they're smoked as well, so they're really tasty. But this is what they look like. Again, just like a bit thicker. Mm. I cannot get over the rain outside. I'm honestly loving it. When I took Barney on a dog walk this morning, and there was a guy, like an older guy with his Mac on, hood up and everything. So it's a bit different from last week or from the week before whenever it was a heat wave and i was just thinking and i know and thank god because it's so much more refreshing <sighs> i actually don't mind a dog walk in the rain um, call me crazy i just feel like there's something quite peaceful about rain and i'm fully in my waterproof so i get home and i'm bone dry i don't know i just i enjoy it more food and i got the this six pack of John West on the go Mediterranean tuna pasta salads that they do, the French and the Mediterranean one. I got these Reese's, I've actually not tried these before, the Reese's Thins. I have had a couple already, bag is open. Um, you get 50 pieces inside and they're, they're like a really thin Reese's cut basically, but really nice. If you like the more chocolatey, thicker part of a Reese, Reese's, then you'll like the Thins. And then I did also get this two pack of Calvin Klein joggers. There were different colours available. I went for the pack that was black and grey. And they're just plain and simply high-waisted joggers. They're quite a thin fabric though. And they do have on the leg Calvin Klein. So they're, I would say, more like round the house type loungewear. Um, and they were only, I think it was £19 for the pair. So a tenner each for a pair of Calvin Klein joggers, I thought was so affordable. I did also get some water cartridges from Brita Filter. And then I got this. So I did actually, I love the book section in Costco. I'm always buying a book there. Um, I did see Becoming Molly May, which I was tempted to get. And then, I don't know, I don't know. I just didn't get it in the end. And then I saw this, Where the Crawdads Sing. This obviously got the illustration from the new movie coming out. I want to quickly, read through this before the movie comes out because I love reading a book or watching a movie or a series that's based on a book that I've read. I just find it more enjoyable. And I know everyone says, oh, the book was always way better than the movie, but there's something about watching a movie that I've already read the book on that I really like. So I'm gonna try and whiz through this, even if it's just a bit of a skim read. Um, £4.79 this one was. And then we did pick up a soundbar. I told you we were on the hunt for TV and soundbar for down in our gym living room, down in the basement. So we got this Sonos speaker, great value for money this one. I think this retails for about £400, maybe a little bit more. And I think in Costco it was about 200. They have white and black. We got the black, so I just feel like black sits quite nicely with a black TV. Flash speed mop. So I wanted to get a new mop anyway, or some kind of spray mop or something. And when I saw that they had these speed mops, I was like, Do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna get one. So this set includes one speed mop and 60 wet mopping cloths in the lemon scent. And then whilst I was there, I figured I might as well stock up on the spare cloths as well, because if you buy in bulk, it's always cheaper, isn't it? So, um, oh God, it's heavy. <laughs> oh, here we go. Four packs of 24. Oh my God, there's an expiry date. Who knew that they would have an expiry date? I guess if they dry out maybe. And then what else did we get? We've got some Fire Up Natural Sustainable Fire Lighters for the outdoor oven barbecue setup that Tom has. And then we also got a six pack of deodorant, a six pack of toothpaste, the advanced wipe from Colgate. And that together with the toilet roll is everything we picked up from Costco. The TV that we got, the TV we ordered online, because the one that we'd seen online and the actual original reason we went to Costco in the first place, they only had it online. It's a TCL one, I think. 
and it was reduced from about a thousand pounds down to 600 and something so it's quite a good saving we did see some good lg ones in there um but to be honest with you we're not going to go like too crazy i mean we're getting a big tv down there for if we wanted to use it as like a media cinema room or like for our temporary living room or for when it's a gym to be able to watch videos whether they be whether they be workout videos or a youtube video whilst i'm working out and um, so we've got a big t a nice big tv for down in there but for quality wise i feel like we'd rather get a nice quality one not that the one we've got is bad quality obviously but like the oled ones maybe that we might get for in our future like living room once we've renovated the ground floor oh i did get a couple of amazon parcels arrive i might just wait until they're all fully here before sharing with you some bits because i have actually got like some fashion bits as well some homeware bits the flora sent me a parcel got something from neptune i'll show you those bits maybe when we get back from inspirations because i feel like um i need to well the day's getting on actually i need to get on with some washing i need to do the bedding um, so I might even go tomorrow to Inspirations Wholesale. I'll see how I get on today, but whenever I do end up going, you're of course coming with me. I would share with you guys this is my kind of like mini bedspread setup that I have going on this throw is from B&M it ties in quite nicely with this bolster cushion it's huge this I love it this is actually from Costco as well and then I just have on here a tray this is from Darnell and then a five minute journal on here I do have a couple of other journals this is the one that I do probably least often because it's not dated or anything you can pick and choose when you fill that out so I just do it on the odd occasion and then this candle I'm currently burning another one so once that's burnt through I'll start burning this one but this is in orange blossom and I actually got this from Cheshire Oaks I also have just spritzed the bed with this deep sleep spill <laughs> that's a tongue twister deep sleep pillow spray with like a load of lavender it smells honestly it smells amazing it's from this works I know I've not ironed it but that's the trick with uh a throat like this is you can cover up the fact that you've not ironed your bedding and this bit soon soon irons out I do have a crease release spray that I sometimes use as well uh, but yeah this bedding these Oxford pillowcases I love because they've got that extra extra wide border but it's all from dusk I decided to do a bit of a beauty clear out some before and afters which I'll show you in my bathroom this is like my kind of bathroom main vanity and then I also have like a PR kind of section within my filming room if you do like a good before and after then hopefully you will enjoy these little clips here. So starting with my top right drawer, this is now all of my body care. So essentially I've just followed the principle of face, body, hair, miscellaneous. So the body section has some tanning products, hand and body wash, quite a lot of them actually, um, some tanning mitts. And then the face section has more makeup bits, some SPF, again tanning for the face, Missler water, face masks, and then on the bottom I have my hair care, so I've got some spare shampoos, conditioners, hairsprays, treatments, loads of dry shampoo. I'm excited to try this one actually, because I love Kerastas products and I've never tried their dry shampoo, so I think when I am out, all out of the one that I'm currently using, I'm going to give this one a try. And of course, I have backups of my favourites, my Moroccan oil, it's just 
such a go-to for me. I've even got little minis here for as and when I go away. And then last but not least, the kind of miscellaneous drawer I've just categorized into spare kind of bags. I like to use these kind of canvas bags and linen bags as spare, not spare, um, you know, as and when I'm traveling, I put my beauty bits in one of these bags. Rather than have a dedicated toiletry bag, I just find these quite handy because they go quite big and open and you can see everything that's in there. Couple of beauty tools and spare face cloths and also spare dental floss and cotton buds. And I have just realized as well, I've got this little bag which I got from Primark. This just has all of my spare razors in so I just can pop that in there too. That was in my bathroom vanity within my um, within my bathroom so I've just moved it into here because I think it doesn't need to belong in there for like an everyday basis. So now into my bathroom, it's a little bit echoey in here so apologies for that but in here I definitely need to categorise and have some kind of better system because at the minute everything's loose and I just feel like it still looks a little cluttered but these are things that I use on a more of a, an everyday basis, deodorant, dry shampoos, hair sprays. Um, talcum powder, matte pomade and treatments, toner, my cleansers, toothbrush, moisturizers, tampons and tan products. So that is what that is looking like. And then on the bottom, I've just kind of rolled up all the towels and everything. I've got this bath pillow and spare face cloths and stuff in there. So that is how that is looking much more organized and neat and tidy. Hello guys, it's actually a brand new day. Um, by the time, well, just didn't finish vlogging yesterday, but um, took, uh, well, I was gonna bring Barney. However, this morning we woke up, went for a nice long dog walk. Barney rolled in some fox poop. So that meant bath time for him. With Tom working from home, I thought, well, you know what? I'll just, I'll just go by myself. He's had a nice long walk anyway. So Inspirations Wholesale. And there is a shop here, coffee shop called Leaf and Vine. Looks lovely, they're dog friendly as well. So I might even grab myself a nice brunch because I had a look at their Instagram and some of their brunch options, amazing. And it's now half 10 and um, someone's just parked next to me. So that's fun. <laughs> it's half 10 and I'm hungry. I've only had a banana for my breakfast. So yeah, let's head on in. Let's go shopping. Have I got everything? think so let's see what it's like and thanks to you guys for recommending this because i wouldn't have known had it not been you guys messaging me to say i needed to come to inspirations i'm actually very excited i'm not gonna lie so as i headed in the first thing i was greeted to was kind of like a display area i grabbed a trolley took in the views of a massive warehouse which i had no idea it would be this big and then right on the entrance there were quite a few discounted furniture items and then straight into the autumn stuff which they have out at this time of the year. I'm sure the Christmas things are soon going to be taking over though because there was quite a lot of Christmas stuff out already. What I loved about this kind of seasonal decor though, it's not too garish, it was quite kind of like farmhouse country chic. Something that I would imagine in a pottery barn or something like that in America, it was far more to my taste and my liking, especially this section where it was more focused around cream and white colored pumpkins and also kind of ashy green foliage. I just loved it. And the fact that it wasn't all styled together, everything autumnal, there was kind of a few vases in there, photo frames and loads of discounted wreaths of which these were again, just not too garish. They were actually really pretty. Again, farmhouse country vibes. I loved this wooden stand as well. I think that you could make that a seasonal decor piece at autumn, but also use it and have it out all year round as a little cake stand. Time is running out of sight. Lonely wind is 
passing by tries to carry all the whispers that it finds they had lots of vases kind of rustic um different textures of things wooden stools seagrass placemats they had a lot of log baskets and seagrass baskets wicker baskets they had the lot if you like a kind of boho scheme within your house i think you'll love it they had lots of pampas grass as well and like i mentioned previously tasters of what is to come for christmas they definitely had the sneak peeks the early stages of christmas being laid out and again it was more nordic it was more traditional um, it, it was quite like the red section, the quite bright and bold section, but the way that it was kind of visually merchandised all together was stunning. How gorgeous was that Pampas Grass Christmas tree? Incredible. So it's official. I have a new favorite store. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna say favorite because I feel like it's the sort of place that I'll come to maybe once in a blue moon. A bit like a Costco, I guess. I don't go every week. Um, I did get some homeware bits of which I'm in love with all of them. And I will say it's not like necessarily the cheapest. All the prices are without the VAT. So obviously when you get to the checkout, they add the 20% on, like a wholesalers, like Costco does as well, um, which is fine. So you just kind of have to bear that in mind as you're going around. I think the best time to come back here would be Christmas. I feel like they're gonna go all out at Christmas. They've already got, I, that was one thing I wasn't expecting going in here, a sneak peek of all the Christmas bits already. Oh, so, so I'm gonna head back home now. I've got um, like a 40 minute drive. I could have done with a coffee, you know. I should have maybe got a coffee to go. Might see if there's a drive through somewhere, like a Starbucks. Hello, my baby. Hi, Papa. Where's Daddy? Is he upstairs? Just got home. Home sweet home. What are you eating off the floor? What are you eating? Right, let me go get the bits. Oh, in fact, I might as well take you upstairs because everything else I need to show you. He's already up there. Grab myself a costume room back. I even had a free drink on the via the like rewards app. So um yeah, treat myself to a nice Americano. Oh thank you for these kisses. Thank you for the kisses. That's so nice. You're smelling lovely and fresh after your your little shower. Ooh. Oh it's so heavy now than expected <laughs> let's share with you first and foremost the bits from inspiration seems as though i've just got back from there the first thing i got was actually in the sale this isn't for you because i think eucalyptus is bad for doggies so i have to make sure this is kept out of reach of barney but it's just like um dried eucalyptus it is real but obviously dried so it does it does actually have quite a strong smell to it, so I'm hoping it'll air out a little bit because it's kind of a bit of a musky smell. No, musty is the word because I like musk scents. Anyway, this is in this sale from 11 99 down to 4 99 so I got these. But they had loads. I honestly can't get over how big it was there. It was bigger than I thought it was going to be and the stock was lovely. Like, not just seasonal bits, everything. All the kind of home decor. This is the one item that I saw on their Instagram page and was keen to find in stores, of which they did have quite a few of them. It's this terracotta style urn jug type thing with a real distress pattern to it. And what I love about this is it's got the natural kind of beigey terracotta colour. It's really distressed and rustic and old looking, which is perfect for me i don't like anything too perfect and this like i always say because i don't play around too much with color i like to play around with texture and this is beautiful it was 13.99 that one and then i did have to pick up one pumpkin of course i just got a mini baby one because i do think i have one a ceramic one like this but bigger from primark last year i'm pretty sure i mean i have to go back and watch my old videos i'm pretty sure it's from primark it'll still be in my autumn storage 7.99 i've got these two bowls i absolutely love these this little duo as a set reminds me of a set that i saw on robinson interiors which i really wanted to get my hands on but they sold out that's where this vase is from and this one actually if ever you're 
wondering where these two are from. They are from Robinson Interiors, not too far from where I live. So, um, yeah, they had a set like this. I've seen Gemma Miles. She's actually got them from Robinson Interiors. When they sold out, I've always been keeping my eyes peeled for... Um, oh, excuse me. What's the matter? Am I not giving you enough attention? Here is Dale. Anyway, so this set Gemma's got as well, and I just think they're beautiful. It's not just smooth, it's really textured and rustic looking. I quite like them styled up together. Um, you could style them as separates though. I think it would look really nice to have something like this in a bathroom with like a nice kind of display of like bath salts in a pot um, with like a soap and a brush and a flannel thrown over the top, something like that or in a utility room with like some hand soaps and stuff in. Um, and then you could always use this as a little decorative bowl or bowl for, you know, keys and things on your entryway. In on a console table, you could use this in a kitchen for putting some lemons in in summer. But I actually quite like them styled up together with not much in them. Maybe some beads thrown over the top. I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna play around with them, but I absolutely love them. The small bowl was 10.99. And the large one was £20.99. And then I also got another rustic looking pot rather than a vase this time. Again, the texture on this is what sold it to me. I absolutely love it. It's a little more cool toned than I would like, but it definitely has some warmer beiges running through there as well. The last thing that I picked up from Inspirations is this wooden tray. This was, I remember this thinking this is really affordable. £4.99, yeah for this huge square as well. You don't see square trays very often, I quite liked that. I just really liked the fact that it was like this whitewash wooden tray, which again, the kind of texture to it, it is, it's not like that perfectly sanded, smoothed wooden finish. That is everything that I picked up from Inspirations. Definitely a place I'm gonna be checking out more often. I'm heading back to as we approach I'll just share with you some bits that I've picked up recently from Amazon as well. Oh, a couple of PR bits as well. I've got sent these eye wipes to try. Excuse me, thank you. I've already had a play around with and I'm loving it. I'm going to talk more about it soon, I think. Maybe do some kind of a little tutorial with it or something, but it's from Zuvi. It's a new hairdryer. Loving that. And then I've also been sent this PR package from the Flora. Amazing. What have you got? Why is that tail going? Come here. Give me my socks. Barney. Thank you. Number one sock thief, aren't you? So yes, yeah, oh God, this box smells amazing. No, leave it alone, Bonnie, it's not for you. But they have sent me in celebration of their 100 years, 100 years they've been going, it is Sweet Pea, the standard classics of Flora. I've got the disinfectant spray or mist, the biodegradable wipes. They're quite small, these wipes, but I do, I do quite like them. I've got some currently in the Lemon Zing. Um, and then the Sweet Pea kind of diluted down disinfectant he's trying to get this cardboard box so thanks to Zaflora for very kindly sending me that let's move on to some Zaf Zaflora bits some Amazon bits so the first thing I got is something that I saw on Amy Walker's Amy Rose Walker's channel and it is this album which I just think is adorable it's like got a linen-y textured look it even has some really nice kind of rustic uh, antique brass corners on the edges but it's basically a polaroid album so it's a diy little album where you can keep all of your polaroids you can title them date them i do have a polaroid camera which i bought a few months ago now and i haven't used it yet i just feel like it's tucked away in that drawer this one here i know it's there and I've kind of been saving it for like little, for when Christmas comes around doing Christmas Polaroids. But I think why? Why save it for Christmas? Why not just start using it now, have a bit of a practice? I tell you why. It's because the Polaroids are so expensive <laughs> to have to like buy Polaroids each time. Okay, the next thing that I got, I have already used this. I was just keeping it to one side to be able to show you. And I've used it on my nails currently. So it's the Build in a Bottle by Ab, my gel one by Miley. 
So I've decided to get it in the light pink so that it's kind of got a bit of a slight coverage. You can kind of see the whites to my nails, but this is three coats with a base coat and a top coat from OPI. You do still have to cure it under the lamp, um, but I essentially, I've already done a tutorial on how I do my DIY at home gel nails, but I recently just cut them all short and decided to start again, start fresh with this build in a bottle. Now, I, I can't really, I mean, I was gonna say I can't really see a difference between this and my standard like OPI gel polish, but actually I can't. The finish of this is really shiny and glossy looking and it almost looks quite thick. And then another thing I got from the beauty section is in preparation for autumn, I have a little bit left of my all time favorite fragrance of all time, ever, ever, ever. And it's by Maison Margiela, the replica scent in by the fireplace. This is one that I happened to just stumble across and kind of, it was a bit of a fluke really. They're quite pricey, these fragrances. And I remember going to a Christmas event with World Duty Free at Manchester Airport. They used to do them every year. It was like one of my favorite press events. But they, and like since COVID, they stopped doing it. But I remember we used to stop over in the Radisson Hotel. I've vlogged them all if ever you want to look back and watch them. But we basically got to go shopping with a couple of hundred pounds worth of vouchers in World Duty Free whilst it was closed down to the public and we were in the airport basically. With our we had to take our passports and everything. And yeah, we just got to shop at Christmas time, which is amazing. Before we went down in our rooms, there was a gift bag and one year this was one of the items in the gift bag, this scent. And ever since then, this has to be in my collection. I'm not gonna lie, I do prefer to keep it to um, autumn and winter only, just cause it is quite smoky. I'm not gonna open it cause I've still got my other one to finish off, but it's quite smoky and woody. And I do feel like I reach for my Jo Malone's throughout summer, but this one in autumn, winter, it's the only fragrance that I'm really like conscious of not being too liberal with. Anyway, moving on, I have a book. When have I ever put in an Amazon order without ordering a book? I will just mention as well, by the way, I am looking to start up a storefront. So if it's already set up, I will leave a link to it below where you can see all of these items, wishlist items, previous items I've bought from Amazon, um, and it'll all be in one place for you to shop. I do earn small amounts of commission from the sale if you do decide to shop through my shop front. So just being transparent with you guys. I mean, it's, it's pennies, but every little helps. And yeah, it's just a, an easier place for you guys to shop all of my Amazon purchases. So if that's already set up, I'll leave a link below. If not, keep your eyes peeled for it. But this is a new item that I have purchased from Amazon, 100 essays that will change the way you think by Brianna West. West. This, she's actually done a few different books, which I was tempted to get a couple more as well, but I thought this is the best seller. This is the one that everyone talks about. So this is the one that I'm gonna start with. I like this because it's one of those books that you can pick up as and when you choose to, find an essay and just read that essay, which is only over a couple of pages or whatever, rather than a book that you have to read, like a fiction book where you really do just have to read it chapter by chapter. What's have I got? Oh, I just got some, you guys, probably might remember me talking about getting shin splints with picking up running. I've eased off of it, but I have been getting my step count in. I've been for like one or two runs over the last couple of weeks. I just eased off with my shin splints, but I did pick up these, which I tried and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really a fan. I don't know if it's because I've ordered the wrong size or not, but they are, it's not for you, I'm afraid. They are compression socks. Well, they're not socks because they're just on your shins. Um, but I was, it was a struggle to get these on. I got them in a medium. And then when they're on, because they are so tight, I just hate feeling that tight feeling. So yeah, I, I don't think I'll get on with those. But these I got, you can just cut them to size. They're just from Shul, the Gel Active Sport uh insoles well i will show you this as well that i ordered the other day from neptune they've got a new stories volume 16 brochure out you can just get these for free i like to just have them on display but also just have a flick through get a bit of inspiration and then another thing i ordered before moving on to the fashion from amazon is for this little guy here from pet hamper pet hamper is a business based in the northwest that essentially do a bit of a diy create your own hamper box where you can pick and choose from a load of different toys treats etc 
accessories, everything, and compile it within a hamper. So whether it be for a special occasion, if you've got someone in your family that's getting a new dog, you're getting a new dog yourself, um, then yeah, you can pick out some new bits. I initiated putting in this order because of these bowls. They're from Fuzz Yard and they are like a silicon bowl they do them in plates as well for cats and smaller bowls as well this is the large bowl that they do and they're dishwasher safe microwave safe which i think is such a convenience for like when you want to just give them a good clean and yeah they're a gorgeous stone color i think they've got a couple of other colors as well and um water and food bowls we've got some nice matching bowls that we can put maybe downstairs in the utility and then I also got this. What's that, Barney? It's basically, it's like a bone. Although I don't know, because of his jaw, I don't know if he'll love this right now. But we can give it to him anyway. You can pick and choose whether you want to chew it or play with it or do whatever with that. It's just like a really nice kind of natural colour, texture. And I love adding these sort of things to his. Yeah, you're struggling, aren't you? the opening of his mouth that he's struggling with and then I did also get one of their balls their little tennis balls which they come in white I think pink and blue that might be it there might be another color and you get a free little linen bag which you can use these as uh, treat bags they do actually sell these separately but if you get a ball then you get given one of these for free <laughs> uh, next up some fashion bits firstly some new trainers oh gosh I hit the fucking face I got some New Balance. These are my first ever New Balance trainers. Tom's a fan of New Balance. Um, I've just never, I don't know, just never had them before. I think I have anyway. Um, but I saw this style, the 574s, and I just thought they're quite a nice classic runner style trainer or you know just for like running errands maybe if i'm taking the dog out for a walk but i know it's not going to be a muddy walk that kind of thing so anyway i picked them up then i also picked up these i have actually tried all of these bits on already but i just wanted to put them back in their packaging <laughs> to save them for the haul these unfortunately do not fit at all so i got the classic 501s original cropped levi's i thought well i'm got jeans on now actually these mango ones are perfectly fine. These are really, like the Levi jeans, are, yeah, they're classics and stuff, but there's no stretch to these at all. So for someone of my kind of figure, my shape, where I'm a bit curvier on the bottom, I do kind of struggle with jeans if there's not much give to them. I do love the kind of wash of these and the fit and style and look, but they just, they just don't fit me. I ordered them in a 29 waist and 30 leg I think it is and the issue isn't around the waist it's around the thighs for me but there you go another new balance item I can be matchy matchy with my trainers just picked up a, a little cap which I like to wear when it's hair wash day and I'm taking the dog out for a walk this is a little summer's dress like a shared fabric really really stretchy I love the little frill on the arm there and it's tiered as well I did actually order two shorts I'm going to send these back because it was from a brand on Amazon that had loads of different styles of shorts within the one sort of shopping page so I clicked on two specific ones and they sent me different ones from that shopping page which I remember looking at thinking I don't want those ones I want this one so anyway I'm just going to send these back because they're not well mind you I do really like the look of these but uh, they're not the ones I wanted. He's enjoying being in on my haul. He's got a new toy. I know, well, I figured when I came in, I let him out and he had the biggest wing. And I thought, well, Dad's clearly not letting you out. What you got, Barney? He's nice. He's nice. They, tried the, they said they haven't delivered the TV because uh, they couldn't find the address. Oh, God. Well, what are you meant to do? What? Well, I've no idea what you meant to do. I'm still like, that's just mental. So they're just not. Not even trying, not knocked on the door, not on anything. How strange. I've got a set of CKs. I think when I ordered these, actually, these were on offer. 
so I decided to put in an order of the little triangle bralette and matching bottom. Also got um, one of the best rated pair of leggings because if you remember from my last Amazon purchase and I talked about some kind of dupes for the Lululemons but I did say they're not dupes. When I was searching Lululemon on Amazon again this one came up at, with like hundreds if not thousands of reviews and um so i thought i would try them out and they are lovely they're definitely a thicker fabric they are similar to the lululemons they're probably not as soft maybe i don't know these are a, a little bit more like my wonder under leggings that i've got from lululemon not the align well they're kind of in between the two and then last but not least i got some javianas so I live in my, well, in fact, to be fair, I've been wearing my Birkenstocks quite a lot this summer, but I also have a pair of Havianas that I took to Milan or took to Lake Como in the gold. And they were actually a repurchase from the gold ones that I had last year, but just wore them to death. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to get a black pair because I wear them so much. I thought I would invest in a darker colour to be able to wear with like black dresses. So yeah, picked these ones up. Anyway, I'll leave links to all these things below. Um, and that is going to conclude today's video, I think. Stay tuned for future upcoming styling videos that I've got for utility and things where I might style up some bits that I've purchased from today's video and previous videos, which I'm really excited for. I feel like I show you guys a lot through hauls, but I also like to as a consumer if i'm watching a haul i like to see how people style things in their home as well so um yeah stay tuned for some upcoming styling videos thank you so so much for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed this come wholesale shopping video with me and if you do want more of these in the future do let me know i definitely think i'm gonna have to to revisit around Christmas time, Costco as well, they just go all out. Thank you so much for watching, I hope to see you all very very soon in my next video. Bye guys!